I knew a player who hit some of the best ground strokes I've ever seen. He was a fantastic ball striker, but he couldn't win matches. He put so much spin on the ball, he couldn't finish the point. The ball had no penetration and his opponent could run the ball down. Everybody talks about spin, but seldom about the penetration you get at the other end. In today's video, we'll not only talk about spin, but also how much penetration we can generate at the other end. My name's Paul Dale and welcome back to my tennis instruction series for advanced coaches and players. In previous videos, I've dealt with my two other fundamentals of contact and ground. Today, we dive into my third fundamental, spin. Most players understand that topspin helps control the ball, but many players use excessive topspin for every shot. While well, spin indeed helps you to control the ball, it also slows it down and makes it harder to finish the point at a higher level. So we need a way to control the ball's flight, yet maintain the speed, the penetration. So here's how we do it. Many players fail to understand that the racket face for both topspin and underspin remains roughly the same. It's the finish that gives you the spin. For topspin, think flat contact and high hand finish. This allows you to retain the penetration on the ball, yet create a tail at the end of the flight. This means that you can successfully allow spin and speed to coexist, giving your ball much more authority. Now, let's look at underspin. The traditional way of teaching underspin is to have the player slice under the ball and swing from high to low. But just as we did with topspin, we're going to think a little differently in how we treat underspin. Instead of focusing on slicing high to low, we're going to focus on a flatter contact. The key here is the finish. We're going to finish with an open racket face to produce underspin. Notice how similar the two concepts are. We maintain the same contact, but only change the finish to get the desired spin. For topspin, we finish with a high hand, and for underspin, we finish with the racket face open. With my method, we're not making major adjustments, we're just making small changes to the finish. You'll find that young players in particular can develop both spins much faster than traditional methods. Remember, spin is one of my fundamentals, and with contact ground and spin working together in a complementary way, you'll end up with a complete game. Thanks for watching and join me next week for more tennis instruction videos.